What's up everyone? This is Joe Sorrentino of New England RC. And boy do I have a treat for you today. I just picked up the most exciting RC that I own today. I am talking about the Losi LMT Son of a Digger. Oh, ho, ho, baby, this thing is ridiculous. One tenth scale, four wheel drive, solid axle, monster truck. And it's the exact replica of the real deal Son of a Digger. Oh boy, I saw this out of the box in Hobby Quarters in Foxborough, Massachusetts, my favorite hobby shop. And I gotta tell you guys, as soon as I saw that, I fell in love with this. I had to have it for myself. And today, I'm gonna unbox this bad boy and we're gonna see how it looks. Let's go! Here it is, guys. Here, yeah, let's just look at a few things here on the box before we open it up. Got a transmitter with it. We've got an adjustable servo saver, LED headlights included, very cool. Long travel coil over shocks, Spectrum Firma Smart 130 amp ESC, Spectrum Firma four pole brushless motor, realistic driver insert, multi piece scale axle housing. This thing is loaded up, very cool. Just the box alone, I'm getting excited. Look at all these details here. Look at that. Oh my God, we gotta open it up. We gotta see. I'm gonna undo this label carefully. Got the box up. Oh my God, look at this. Just look at the paint job on that. It's so beautiful. Wow, love that. Oh God, this is gonna be so cool. Real, real excited. So I'm gonna start with the this cardboard. The wheels are actually stuck inside it, so it actually has to come all out together. Let me start with this, this back piece. I think we can pull out. Here we go. That's good. Oh boy! <laughs> so much stuff. Well, there we go. We got one out. Another one. See that? I got holes for the wheels there. Pretty cool. Oh man, a lot of stuff. Oh boy, that's a beauty. Look at this. Oh, that's how she comes. Nicely wrapped up, all together, no assembly. This box probably has all the electronics inside. So we'll go. Carefully take the packaging off here. Oh my God, that is just beautiful. Very, very cool. You know, they say it's a one-tenth scale, but it looks so much bigger. I mean, this thing's almost as big as my X-Max. I mean, it's crazy huge. Look at these tires. They're so thick. I don't even know if I can do it justice from the video. I mean, you almost got to see it for yourself. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to get another angle. You zoom in. We'll show you some stuff here. But wow, this thing. Awesome. Awesome stuff. I'm so excited. I can't even get the words right. All right, hang on. I'm going to show you some other stuff. All right, here we go, folks. Better angle right here. Look at that. It's got a face. Ah! Coming to get ya. Look at that thing, oh my lord. Look at the flames, how cool is that? Look at that sweet paint job, oh my god. All right, now you get the skull on top. I mean, there's no way I could not own this. Look at, see how cool that is? I got my fire going with my X-Max and now I've got the fire to match. I just wanted to point that out. One of the reasons I wanted this truck so bad is because it's a really nice counterpart to my X-Max. They're kind of like brothers, you know? Look at the details. Oh, just incredible. All the imagery here. Monster trucks smashing each other up. Son of a digger. Oh my God, it's just so cool looking. So nice, almost should be a shelf queen. Look at these tires. I'm like afraid to drive it. I don't want to smash it up, but at the same time I have to. Oh, how can you not? Just look at the details. Look at how glorious it is. Let's take a look at this box. Just move this over to the side here. Very nicely packaged. There's my manual. Some extra goodies that I'm probably going to need at some point. Batteries for the remote control. Excellent. I'll go through this in a little bit. We'll see what that's all about later. But there you go. That's what comes with it. Very cool. Next. There we go. And the remote control is nicely bubble wrapped as well. Oh yeah, look at that, that's familiar. Looks a lot like my Notorious. 
It's a Spectrum remote control. All kinds of goodies on here. You got the smart battery level. That's kind of a cool feature. So then you know when your battery's running low, it's gonna let you know on the indicator here. That's sweet. Okay, we've got the steering control, neutral reverse. We've got throttle control, neutral reverse. I got throttle limit. Oh, that's nice. So if you have a young kid that you don't want going crazy with this thing, you can set how fast it can go. So you can go 50, 75, or 100. Those are the parameters. What do we got? Steering rate, we got brake rate, steering trim, throttle trim, all these knobs here. Yeah, that's the power button. What's that button? Bind. And then you have your AB switch here. And then on the bottom, that's the place where you plug your batteries in right there. Oh, by the way. There's that little guy, he's in there. It's pretty cool, pretty authentic. So I want to now show you the insides a little bit. Okay, so these are the uh, solid axles I was talking about. And uh, there's one on each side. So this is a unique steering system. Most systems are not like the solid axle. They have a different type of mechanism. It's different, you know, if you can see the X-Max here has a different type of, you know, you get the arms, the A arms here, a little different type of scenario. This is a whole different ball game, okay? This is like a true monster truck. The only thing that it does not have that a monster truck has is rear wheel steering. This only has front wheel steering. All right, so now there's a pin, there's one, and there's another pin there. Two more here. Let's take the pins out. Ooh, I don't like how loose those are. That's a little concerning. I wish there was like something so that they hang off of it. I might have to build something. So I don't want to lose pieces. That's why I get worried. Pin here. There it is. All right, those are the four pins. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to show you how the hood opens up. I'm going to hold it all together so I don't lose it. The pins are loose now. Okay. And set it on the ground. All right. Now we should be able to open it. Oh, here it goes. Cool hanging at the top there and here it is now from the top you can see what's inside here there's our ESC fan we've got the power button here set button there uh, I got my electronics in here my ESC uh, all my auxiliary options that I need it looks like I've already got one loose here so I can plug that, something else in. Maybe the lights go in there. I don't, I don't think the lights are plugged in. Yeah. See that, folks? That's the plug for the lights. Oh, this is cool. Let me show you. The lights are sweetly already attached. Really cool. So they've already got a nice little system in play. Oh, I like that. That's a good idea. Put that little sticky there when it's clamping it in place. Nice. Got a couple zip ties all ready to go. Did a nice job. Making it easier on me. So I'll just have to be careful of that when I'm taking this up and down because I got to keep that in mind that it's going to plug in and unplug that before I open it so I don't pull on any wires. Those are pretty cool. Look at the nice shocks on here. Very sweet. There's the uh, servo. It's an interesting spot. And you've got the servo here. I'm used to seeing servos up front over here with all my other vehicles and the steering will be over here, but on this one, it's a different mechanism. It's over here. So there's a lot of differences about this vehicle than a lot of the ones I have. And uh, that's part of also why I wanted it. Something different, something unique, something really cool. I really dig all this uh, stuff going on here. This looks like something that can come out, some gearing in here, and I'm sure. I like all the stickers. This is all the sponsors for the real deal truck. Uh, it's kind of cool. They thought of all those little details when they put this together. And uh, I just want to show you, I got these batteries for it. Okay, these are the 5000 mAh 100C3S batteries. And these are from Spectrum. And I only need one of them. I have two, so that way I have a spare when one runs out. I got another one ready to go, so I'll be juicing two up. You can pick these up uh, anywhere, online or whatnot. I got these at my, my hobby quarter store, $89.99 each. This guy, by the way, was $5.99, 600 bucks. So a little pricey, but I think it's gonna be worth every penny. Take the manual out so you can take a look here. Uh, also comes with a cool little card. Free cool brand swag, Horizon Hobby. Just for registering your new Horizon Hobby brand product. 
here's my manual. Very nice detailed booklet here. And uh, of course they make the Grave Digger as well as the Son of a Digger. Grave Digger, the original um, monster truck that came out, the green one. Giving a quick glance at the manual here. And uh, this is basic stuff. Installing the battery, transmitter functions, powering on the vehicle. Yep, adjusting steering and throttle. Oh, that's cool. There's some different programming modes. Let's see, we got some shock disability cleaning, blah, blah, blah. Brushless motor. We, we, then we get into the components, all the little pieces that can break off, which uh, concerning parts, you know. But it's good to know a list of everything you need. If anything does break, placement parts, all your fun stuff here, troubleshooting guide, blah, blah, blah. 18 pages, and then you get into the other languages. So, just so you know. Losi. Now, we got some batteries. So I'm gonna take the batteries, and put them in the remote. Ooh, and it works. I like how they package these too with this uh, cushy material here. Very nice back fit. It's just good packaging. Here's my battery. Pretty cool looking. Taped here so it protects the wire. There we go. Cool. Pull that up the latch there. There's a little latch on there. You can releases it. With the battery. It's a nice tray. Fits perfect. Yeah, it's probably better. And we can connect like that. Okay. Next up is the lights. So there's this little port here. I gotta put it down. And I gotta put the lights on. I gotta match the black wire with the black wire. All right, that should do it. Ooh, boy. Ho, ho, ho. Nice. This little test here, make sure this is working. Yeah. Forward, reverse. Got my steering control. All right, get the pins back on here. And we can take it for a little spin. We'll see how it goes. First run here with the son of a dick. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that was cool. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that was neat. Ooh, nice. This has been the son of a digger. First look. If you enjoyed today's episode, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell to stay updated on when my next video becomes available. And until then, this is Joe Sorrentino saying thanks for watching. See you on the next one.